Look where TED Talks are given life. Kermit the Frog here. You don't know the power of the dark side. There's never anything good on TV. <clears throat> My passion is to be a voice actor. What is a voice actor, you may ask? Voice acting is the art of doing voiceovers or providing voices for animated characters in various works, including films, cartoons, commercials, comedy, and vid video games, and so much more. <clears throat> Today, I thought I would share my passion and tell you what voice acting is and why it is important. Here are a few examples of people who do voice acting. One is a small unknown voice actor. You've probably never heard of him, Robin Williams. He was an amazing voice actor because he could do so many voices and could do them all perfectly. <clears throat> he even played a voice actor in the movie Miss Doubtfire. He played cartoon characters in the beginning. Another voice actor is Mel Blanc. He played most of the Looney Tunes characters and was considered the man of a thousand voices. He played Bugs Bunny, and Prince Dank, Daffy Duck, You're the Spickable, and Marvin the Martian. Oh, how delightful. <laughs> Another voice actor is Christopher Sabat. He has played in many animes, such as Dragon Ball Z, Full Metal Alchemist, and One Piece. What I find really awesome about him is that he has played many characters in the anime Dragon Ball Z, but each character sounds completely different. Voice acting is important because it has touched so many lives. For instance, Elmo from Sesame Street has helped teach kids the alphabet. La 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 la, la 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 la, Elmo's world. <laughs> and the count has helped teach kids how to count. One, two, three, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Without voice acting, then how do we know that the most annoying laugh comes from someone who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Sorry. Luckily for you, I won't do that impression. <laughs> Another example of why voice acting is important is in advertising. For example, the Mr. Clean commercials. You can't have a small little boy voice narrating the commercials. You have to have a more manly voice to tell everyone it's a strong product. Being able to communicate effectively in voice acting is important because if you cannot project emotions with your voice, the message might not get communicated. For instance, when you are voice acting, you can't just stand still. It makes it very difficult to project emotions. For example, I am your king, bow before me. But if you move around and get into character, like for this voice, I need a wider stance, I need to puff out my chest a little bit, I am your king, bow before me. Something else that is important is articulating. If you cannot articulate correctly, the viewers might not be able to understand what you're saying. When you're voice acting, you must be in flow with the cartoon. You don't want it to be like the old Japanese movies where you were talking and the character is still moving their mouth when you're done. You killed my brother. Prepare to die. <laughs> <laughs> This is funny, but not very effective. <laughs> now imagine for a moment you have a big job interview. You wake up late, your hair is a mess, and your suit is wrinkled. And when you get there, the person doing the interview is completely blind. The only thing he can judge you on is the sound of your voice. Now you can either go in and say, what's up, brah? I'm here for the job interview. <laughs> or you can go in and say, hello, sir. I'm here for the job interview. Which do you think he is more likely to hire, the person who sounds like they've been catching some gnarly waves, <laughs> or the person who sounds more respectful and serious. The interview I hope to go in for one day is at Funimation. They're the number one anime company in North America, and what they do is take cartoons made in Japan, translate them to English so that English-speaking voice actors can voice the characters so viewers can fall in love with them. Funimation is located about 30 minutes from Fort Worth, which means I can do what I love right next to home. As a voice actor, I see myself playing the smaller role characters that everybody loves. 
For instance, if you ask someone who their favorite character from the anime Dragon Ball Z is, they will most likely not tell you as the main hero, Goku. They will probably tell you as the main part-time bad guy, Vegeta. That's what I want, is for everyone to say that their favorite character out of the entire anime is, is my character. So in closing, I would like to challenge everyone to go out into the world, close your eyes, and listen to everything around you. Talk to someone with your eyes closed, like over the phone, and pay attention to what you think they may look like. Or watch a cartoon with your eyes closed and listen to the voices behind the characters. Then open your eyes and choose to listen and make decisions based on more than what you see. That's all, folks. <laughs>